Hey guys, today I'm going to make a quick video about two 4x4 PLL parity cases that you may not know and might be very useful for knowing. So the first one that you probably know already is the two corner swap. So this case goes like this, the first half of the Y perm, then a U so that you get these in line, then do your PLL parity algorithm a U, and then as you can see, if you do the second half of the Y perm now, your cube will be solved. So that's a pretty common 4x4 PLL parity case that you should know. The second one is this one. So this one looks pretty like nasty in the first place. If you get this case, it's generally really bad. Um, but this, is, this case is not to be confused with this case. So if we take a second and actually look at these cases, this one looks like you have a, um, a T-perm on the right-hand side and then also another part of the T-perm on the other side. So if we kind of look at that, um, you can see how this, has a, this is a T-perm on the 3x3. Three three. There's a T-perm, like these two corners in this edge look like that. And then they also match there and then on the other side as well. This one does not follow that because these corners have to swap, but we actually want these corners to swap. So the algorithm for this case is we're gonna do the first half of the Y perm again. Then we are going to do our PLL parity right now. And then a U2 and the second half of the Y perm. And now we're done. Unfortunately, I don't know an alg for this case. Um, that algorithm that I just showed you, I learned that from Drew Brads uh, at Nationals this year, and he said he didn't have anything for this case, so unfortunately we're just going to have to do something slow for now. Alright, that's it. Bye.